tonight's pioneer woman recipe that we're gonna make is the sausage breakfast casserole i've seen this around and i've been wanting to try it and i'm not going to go through all that work for breakfast <laughs> that's just not what i'm gonna do so i thought we'd have it for dinner tonight i have my hash browns um this is just a bag of frozen hash hash browns that I put into a strainer and I've just been letting this sit here for like an hour or two because they're supposed to be thawed. So my oven preheated to 350 and I have uh, greased my 9 by 13 baking dish and then I have a pound of just Jimmy, Jimmy Dean regular sausage. I would have bought hot but I know that'd be too spicy for the kids um, and then once there's no longer any pink left in that I'm going to add a chopped up red bell pepper and then a bundle of green onions. And she says to add the white and the light green parts. And then we're gonna use this later. I let the vegetables soften up with the sausage. I am gonna grate up two cups of sharp cheddar cheese and I will finish chopping these up. So it says to transfer this to something else so that it can cool slightly. And while that's cooling, we start making our egg mixture. And you know what? I think I'm gonna get my really big bowl. Okay, this is my big, big bowl. <laughs> because with the hash browns in there, I feel like I'm gonna need it. So for the egg mixture, we need 10 eggs. And I bought the cheap eggs for this. Normally I buy like cage-free organic, or at least I try to. Uh, but since I was gonna use 10, I just bought the cheap ones, they're like a dollar ninety-nine or something. And then we need a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream, and then I'm not sure the measurements, um, but I'll link the recipe in the description box. Uh, hot sauce, and I thought I'll use Frank's Red Hot. Um, Dijon mustard, salt, pepper. Definitely never cracked 10 eggs in a row <laughs> before, and I had to stop like three times to pull shell out. I said one and a half cups of heavy cream, but it's one and a quarter cups. Do a tablespoon of the Dijon mustard, and it's two teaspoons of the hot sauce, and it says it's optional, and so I'm just gonna do one since I'm gonna have my kids eat this. And then one and a half teaspoons of salt, and then one teaspoon of pepper. I'm gonna whisk this all together and then I'm gonna add one and a half cups of the cheese, um, about half of the, of the green onions, and then maybe more than half because you're just supposed to leave a little bit to garnish with after. And then our sausage mixture and our hash brown. So I will fold this all together. So we're gonna cover it with foil and bake it for 50 minutes at 350. So it's been 50 minutes and I pulled it out and then you increase the temperature to 400. So that's what it looks like. And then we're gonna sprinkle it with a half a cup more of cheese. And then we're gonna put it back in until it is no longer jiggly and that it is a little bit golden brown on top. It says about 10 to 15 minutes. All right, so I baked it for an additional 15 minutes and then it says to let it sit or sit out or whatever for 10 more minutes and then we will garnish it with the remaining green onions and I know that you can make this ahead of time so I think you just make it like we did and then instead of putting it into the oven you put it into the fridge until you want to cook it so our review of that casserole I don't think I'll make it again everything would be good individually but I feel like once you put it all together I don't know. I'm just not a huge like fluffy baked egg fan. And then like the potatoes don't get crispy, you know, cause they're in a casserole. So just knowing how much work that was and how long it bakes for, I won't make it again, but it was good. Like if somebody served that to me at a breakfast, I would enjoy it. But if I'm the one that has to make it, I'm not gonna do it again. Tonight's Pioneer Woman recipe that we're gonna try is beef with snow peas and it should come together really quickly. And I'm thankful for that today because it's kind of been a rough 
parenting day over here with two toddlers, um, but I am very excited for this dinner. So let's get started. So the ingredients for the marinade is gonna be soy sauce, rice vinegar, brown sugar, cornstarch, and then snow peas, fresh ginger root, garlic, and then green onions. So I don't normally start cooking until Jared's done with work. He has to work later today. So I still have about 15 minutes for him to come out because then he can kind of like entertain the kids while I do this. <laughs> so I just am doing a few things. I did, I cut up the green onions. I did a whole like bunch of one. It says a half a cup and I don't know if that's a half a cup, but that's what I did. And then I'm gonna dice up about a tablespoon's worth of ginger. And I have heard that you don't need to peel ginger, so I'm just gonna chop it up with the peel. love these little whisks. I got them on Amazon like a year ago and I use them all the time. Then I'm going to add the garlic and ginger and then I need to slice up my meat. This smells so good. It makes me want sushi. Probably the soy sauce and the rice vinegar. I should have done this when I was doing my veggies. Um, I need to cut the ends off of the snow peas. It's supposed to be two cups. I'm just going to do the whole bag. Okay, and you're supposed to use a pound of flank steak and I could not find flank steak so I was googling what an alternative would be and they say skirt steak so and I put this in to the freezer about an hour ago just so I could um, slice it thinner more easily and the grain is going this way and so I'm gonna cut it this way so that it's um, not as chewy and it says to pour in half of this so it's three quarter cups so I'm gonna do half a cup not half a cup I'm gonna do half of the mixture and then set the other half aside. Let me grab a spoon and just get that marinating. And it says to do two tablespoons of olive oil, but you're cooking at a high heat, so I'm gonna do avocado oil instead. Okay, so the first thing we do is we're gonna add the snow peas and we just have to cook these for one minute. I'm just gonna put these in a bowl and set them aside. Everything is put back in. Uh, you just have to cook it for another minute and then remove some heat. That dinner will definitely make it again and it was easier than I was expecting it to be. The thing that takes the longest is just like cutting up everything, but it was very good. We'll make it again. Tonight's Pioneer Woman recipe is going to be a sour cream noodle bake, and I think it's the recipe that I'm most excited to try, so let's get started. I have my pound of ground beef browning, and then water heating up for our noodles, and the oven preheated to 350. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of pepper and a half a teaspoon of salt. And the recipe calls for an eight ounce can and then a 15 ounce can, but I just have a bunch of these, so I'm gonna do just under three of these. 
So I'll get this mixed around and then let it simmer while I boil our pasta. And it says eight ounces and this is 16, so I'll do half of this package. While our noodles boil, I'm gonna shred up one and a half cups worth of sharp cheddar and then a half cups worth of green onion. All right, so my pasta is draining and I'm gonna do a half a cup of sour cream and one cup and a quarter cup of cottage cheese. So we just mix this up, then add your noodles. Then you are supposed to sprinkle it with black pepper. Then we're gonna add a half a cup's worth of chopped green onions to the noodle mixture. So we're gonna add half the noodles to our greased nine by 13 pan. Then we'll put down half of the meat sauce. And then next we will put down half of our shredded cheddar cheese. And then you just do all of that over again. And then this only has to go in the oven for about 20 minutes. That sour cream noodle bake was probably my favorite from the three and I'll definitely be making that again. It would also be really good if you needed to like take it somewhere, like a church potluck or something like that. And I know that those meals were not necessarily budget meals, but we don't eat a budget meal every single night. And so I thought they would be fun to try. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure that you subscribe before you head out and give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you all next time.